Hey everyone, in this quick video we're going to take a look at how to use the progressive texture loading feature to enhance your workflow performance when using Omniverse Live Sync with iClone 8. To learn more about the progressive texture loading feature specifically, please check out the dedicated tutorial on our Reillusion Courses page. To get started, make sure that you've enabled the progressive texture loading feature in your iClone preferences with the manual loading option selected. When we have the manual loading option selected, the textures won't automatically appear when you load a project in iClone. In the USD Composer, right-click on your target USD to get the URL and paste it into the Omniverse Live Sync panel in iClone. Then click Live in the USD Composer to connect it to your iClone session. For now, I'm just going to transfer all of the characters over, and you can see that when I do, the textures are all correctly applied in the USD Composer. By not needing to load the textures in iClone, we're saving a ton of resources that can be used in other areas to improve your workflow speed. I'll proceed to transfer over all the props and cameras, and select the camera view in USD Composer to keep things consistent. Finally, I'll transfer over the lights as well. If you want to add a new character or motion in iClone to transfer to USD Composer, you can use the Quick Transfer button from the toolbar as well, like I'm doing here. The Edit Motion Layer tool can be used to make final tweaks and refinements, which will show up in real time in USD Composer. Ensure that you transfer the motion again after tweaking. You can also save time by using Live Sync with iClone's Motion Director tool. If you're going to use Motion Director, ensure that you disable the gamepad camera control in the USD Composer to avoid any input conflict. Once you're set up, you can use any number of different devices for intuitive character control. You can use everything from gamepads to control the character or mouse clicks to set waypoints. There are all sorts of different settings you can use depending on your scenario. Keep in mind that you can also use the auto mode in Motion Director to have your characters automatically move around randomly. This can be very useful if you want to quickly animate background in PCs. To learn more about this useful tool, please check out the dedicated Motion Director tutorials from our Reillusion Courses page. That's about it for this video guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.